Yo, what is going on, YouTube? Your fan, football fan, two, two, three, three here, bringing you number twenty-four of my Road to Premier League episode twenty-four. And uh, let me tell you, just before you go watch this episode, if you, if you want to see gameplay, don't look at this episode or the next episode, episode twenty-four and twenty-five. I'm mainly gonna be um the mo transfer episodes and then afterwards the gameplay is gonna come again for another 20 30 episodes again but as you can see here the interest on the uh, Paul Turnbull is a uh, pretty enormous uh, already three offers and only like two or three days of the transfer window has uh, gone so that is a uh, pretty pretty uh, great and um, that somebody is uh, interested in, in uh, buying him but he is uh, also a classy center mid uh, not the best but he is he is pretty good and I, and I really enjoy using him a lot uh, we, as you can see here again some more offers on him uh, there are just an, an enormous uh, amount of offers for him it, it's it's crazy mean I mean uh, you can uh, there's really it's it's really special but uh, I like it because maybe that give me some more money to use on a on a player or two and also uh, my uh, youth player Emmanuel Paponi he's just got promoted uh, from a from a junior player to a senior so that's a uh, pretty damn great and as you can see here Two of the three, uh, which I said, uh, you know, was well, not good enough. They come back and said, okay, well, uh, we'll 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 just match your um, your uh, counter offer. And here, some more um, counter offers. I counter offer most of them because I think uh, if you can get more money for your player, you should do that. So uh, I normally just say no, I don't want you to uh, get him for that cheap, I want uh, to make a counter offer because uh, I think uh, that is the best to do. And here I uh, go into the team management as you can see, I just wanted to see which uh, players we still got and I take a toes around and, and I put, I look and I got, I've got a new player, Paul Main, I don't know. I don't know who is, but but uh, I will uh, find out in uh, the future. And here he is, Emmanuel Paponi, 59 sprint speed, 46 acceleration, 49 agility. Um, a decent, decent uh, player in my opinion. But uh, uh, it, it, he's okay for for a youth player. I think he's worth like uh, two million uh, euros, so uh, I li I am um, I'm looking forward to in to that budget uh, or that price increasing after this first season if he plays well, and maybe if he doesn't play so good, uh, it, it can be uh, maybe uh, after if he doesn't play so good he's like maybe gone down a bit, but if he plays good, uh, hopefully he will uh, his price will um, go up. And uh, I maybe can sell him in the next season or the next season again when he's 18 because I think he ha will have um, improved a lot. Um, as you can see here, I'm uh, looking for a new keeper because I really don't think that Lee Nichols is a is a classy keeper. I liked a bit of on Tommy Lee and uh, Kevin Stewart, Alicar, and also Luciano, but but I just don't. I, I'm I wasn't quite sure. I took a quick little look at Luciano's stats and uh, we began to came in the 66 so I said you know what I want Tommy Lee he's uh, not that uh, expensive and his salary is not the highest so I believe um, it's uh, possible for me to pick him up and as you can see um, also my uh, uh, chief executive uh, he says he's around 302 to 347,000 euros worth so I say 350 and um, then they will probably accept that and I also needed a striker but as you can see here first time I searched uh, through some strikers there weren't uh, really any uh, searching results um, I don't know really why that is uh, 65 to 75 uh, max estimated worth 250,000 euros 
uh, wasn't apparently, apparently good, not good enough. So I said 450,000. I said 60 to 70. Uh, 75, I'm sorry. And then a whole lot of uh, players uh, jumped uh, jumped into my screen. As you can see, here, a lot of them. Um, Players, but uh, I the first thing I normally do is I go through the players and some of them looks uh, interesting. I take a quick look. This guy, Raf Slavan, only 25 years old and uh, has a 65 rating. So I decided, you know what? Uh, I want I wanna wanna try him out and I couldn't really remember. So I said 580 thousand euros. And the thing I couldn't remember is how much I wanted to pay for Tommy Lee. So I said 590,000 and I I kind of felt like I had enough money to do that and uh, I had a, I just couldn't remember at that point and I really don't know why that was but um, sometimes I, I forget a bit easy sometimes I don't know really why that is. But as you can see here, some of the clubs come back and say, you know what, it's okay. But I then I'll reject this offer because I don't think they uh, wanted him enough. And uh, I also reject this offer because it was way too low and didn't want to make a new counter offer because there were so many clubs who had uh, decided to match it. So he, uh, Paul Turnbull had a lot of balls in the air and he doesn't really, he didn't really know with uh, which club to choose. So I also said uh, no to Lavande. And uh, soon you will see which club he gets sold to. Uh, Liverpool hoping to sign Boateng in the coming days. That would be a pretty, uh, pretty big uh, for them. And here uh, I get a uh, Paul Turnbull sold, and Tom Lee says, uh, or uh, what is that called? Chesterfield says. Uh, yes, on my offer for uh, Tom Lee, and I said you can get two thousand euros, and you're a, you're a crucial first team player because I really need a new keeper because I knew Lee Nichols is only a, a loan. And here, Ravis Levan also said uh, four thousand euros. You can have that, and in three years, I'm a crucial first team player. You are really one of my crucial because I really need a new striker which I can sub with uh, because I really don't have him. Um, the things and they're uh, here. I said, you, you know what? An offer for I can I want for five hundred forty thousand. If I'm gonna sell him, I ain't gonna sell him that easy. He is, he is a top top class uh, striker, uh, which he proved in last season. Fifteen goals in twenty nine matches. I know it's not even a goal per match, but for me it was actually quite uh, okay. Um, I don't know what what you guys feel. How many goals should a should a attacker or striker should he score for you um, uh, to be successfully to be successful at your uh, club? Um, for me, it's like maybe a goal per second game or something, and that uh, has a I can find what I fulfilled as you could hear 15 goals in 29 matches. He is uh, above my. Uh, Target which I want and uh, which I normally go off go for because I really think it's important to have a goal scorer who can score at least uh, in the every second game because then I maybe has have, have have another goal scorer who can uh, take over for him and here I got Levan for five hundred ninety thousand euros and he he accepted my contract offer so that was uh, that was pretty pretty damn great. And uh, now I have uh, two pretty good, good strikers, uh, Ravis Lavan and Dominic Aduro, two uh, quality strikers. And when I have something in the front, I now also have something in the back. Tommy Lee signing him there for uh, about uh, three, uh, 350,000 uh, euros. I mean, I think uh, that was uh, how much I paid for him. And he goes straight into my team. And I'm sorry, Lee Nichols, but um, that's the way it is. If you uh, don't uh, go like up to the top level, you can during a whole season. You're gonna be swept out, and uh, that's exactly what happened with him. So two new signings, and I'm not quite sure. I don't. I don't really think that I'm gonna buy one more player, but maybe I have three hundred thousand euros. Uh, I can't remember. I really don't know. Maybe I am. Um, I'm gonna buy uh, some scouts but that, that was all for this episode so if you 
like the vi this video, please leave a like, a comment, and maybe subscribe to my channel. It would be awesome. Be sure to check out my other videos too. Goodbye.